Hey there, Danny K coming to you from Danny K Gym and Wellness. Today's tip is about like <clears throat> working out your hips, butt, all that stuff. Everybody um, tends to, you know, do squats to work their butt, and they do the inner and outer thigh to work, you know, the inner and outer thigh, the the out the out part of their hip, and then of course the inside of their thigh. Um, but a lot of times people forget to work their, I'm going to step back, um, their hip flexor, this right here, like these right here. So <clears throat> um, sometimes in gyms there's what they call a multi-hip um, machine and you know it's it looks like it's got like a dial with you know numbers and then it's got like a little arm that comes out with a pad on it and um, you know some some people work their inner and outer thigh on it they turn around and they work their butt on it and um, you know and then you would turn it around and put it at your thigh again I'm gonna step back <clears throat> you would put the pad at their you know like angle it at their thigh and they would lift up like that and that hits the hip flexor um, so in my gym I do not have a multi-purpose um, hip machine um, I do have inner and outer thigh machines and of course you know everything under the sun you can think of for butts squats one-legged squats um, you know the Smith machine um, the leg press I have a plate loaded leg press a pin pin, pin plated leg press Wow um, you know ball squats I mean everything to hit the butt you got the inner and outer thigh again you know to hit you know the other parts of the of the hip but it's definitely important to hit the front part of the hip as well because um, one thing that I ended up doing was you know my glutes got strong my lower back was strong my inner and outer thighs were strong um, but my hips my, my front hip flexor was not previously years ago um, so my SI joints you know would pop out because when you have an imbalance um, a strength imbalance or an imbalance of whatever it might be there's possibility for injury so um, you know everything you know on the back side of me was strong hamstrings lower back butt, you know inner outer thighs all that was strong I was strengthening all of that um, you know but when I first started working out I had no clue about certain things like the reason my uh, shoulders got jacked up dislocated all the time was because I didn't know about the rotator cuff muscles and the rotator cuff exercises so you strengthen the smaller inside internal muscles and then you know um, that helps keep things balanced for the outside my outside shoulder muscles got all strong and everything I didn't know about the the, the rotator cuff muscles um, and then my shoulder kept popping out and I'd have to keep putting it back in um, and it would separate and dislocate and you know all that crap well now it's all kind of fixed so to speak because of you know the treatments that I've gotten with uh, Luke my acupuncturist and years 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 of doing the rotator cuff exercises I still do rotator cuff exercises when I do my shoulders because I do not want to create imbalance so over the years when I first started training I had no clue there was there was nothing about you know imbalance and all this crap so that's why you know I do a lot of my my videos and my tips for you guys and and want questions want so that I can so I can give you some answers so it is very important to so I guess that I guess the complete tip not just necessarily about the hips or anything um, the, the, the complete tip on this is about um, creating balance so that you're not causing injury to your body so you know back down to um, to the hip flexors I don't have a multi-purpose uh, machine in here so you know like I said I do the squats and all that from a tush I have the inner and outer thigh machines so and then I also have you know the cables um, so I lower the cable all the way down and um, I put a, um, a velcro uh, strap thing around my ankle and then so if the cable is behind me um, you know I put the weight on and then I put the strap on my ankle and then I just lift up like that so the cable the strap is here the cable is behind and I know I could possibly be showing you but somebody who's on my equipment out there so I didn't want to interrupt them and it's kind of noisy out there so um, but maybe uh, later 
use uh, later later on I'll show you that um, but that is what you want to do you want to create a balance of everything so if you're working if you're working the outer and you're working the inner and you're working the butt work the other portion too if you're working your shoulder muscles work the inside muscles um, you, you know uh, a lot of times you know people do the biceps and triceps they forget about their forearms their forearms help you know help with weak wrists they also help and I've said it before weak I mean um weak forearms if you have the, the stronger your forearms are the the more weight you can you know lift for your biceps so if you have a more balanced body and I can help you get there if you have a more balanced body you're gonna have less chance for injury okay so take this tip about balancing your body so I kind of moved it from the hips to just balancing the whole body as I as I go and y'all know I get long-winded sometimes and I just my, my brain goes but um, you know I, I it, it's very important to stay balanced um, <laughs> mentally <laughs> <laughs> physically emotionally uh, you know everything stay balanced as much as you possibly can and that you know kind of wards off any injury illness sickness whatever um, yeah kind of again a tip within a tip within a tip damn I'm deep today no okay whatever shut up love you guys anyway so seriously think about ways that you're creating an imbalance when you're working out and think about ways that you could possibly create more of a balance so that you can have less injury less um you know less less chance for you know an injury and if you have any have have problems thinking about that let me know talk to me tell me give me a call send me a message Danny K. Jim Wellness on Facebook Danny K. Jim Wellness .com. send me a message and, and let me know you know or ask me you know hey is this a good thing to create more of a balance in my routine come into the gym check me out I'm right here in, well some of you people might not be watching in, in Maryland Westminster but um, you know I'm right here Westminster Maryland you know check me out uh, I'm always here to help you if you have a question whether you belong to this gym or not, I want to help you on your fitness journey. And, um, you know, I mean, that's that's the whole thing. People getting fit, people getting healthy, healthy here, healthy here, healthy here. You know, it, it's the whole mind, body and soul thing. So however I can help you and create that balance, um, you know, so that you're not causing injury. That's the important thing. So if you're not injured, you're going to continue to work out. Stay tuned, stay informed, stay motivated. Stay balanced. Bye.